So what we're doing here is just feeding a bit of zooplankton to some of our corals. So just pouring it over the surface of the coral and you'll see the coral contract. And especially for corals like this one which is the um, Xena and the Xenia loves to um, filter feed so we just spray a bit of zooplankton on it actually this is phytoplankton so the phytoplankton is green so he'll, he'll absorb some of that and if you want to maintain this stuff you need to put the phytoplankton in an area where there's some light and then you need to feed the phytoplankton to the zooplankton to keep it alive but you can feed the phytoplankton directly or feed the zooplankton directly So corals do get most of their energy from the light, but they do like to filter feed trace elements and nutrients out of the water, and that's why spot feeding foods like this is really quite beneficial to them. Allows an extra source of nutrients for them. And this tank's really pumping. So this is a Red Sea 500, the S series, beautiful fish tank. And you'll see every now and then the light goes off and um, that's because when you hold up this lid it instantly turns the lights off like that. So you lift the lid the lights go off instantly to give you nice clear access to the tank. The corals in this tank are really pumping. So you can just put the phytoplankton in the water but it's obviously beneficial if you can target feed like this and particularly your non photosynthetic corals um, this is overly important for and I've noticed some eggs here too if you actually look here on the front glass it's not quite in focus you'll see a whole patch of eggs and it's a whole lot of little clusters and inside the little clusters are lots of tiny little eggs assumably from probably a little a nudie branch or a snail or something like that. Do you have some zooplankton to feed too, John? Uh, yes. The other bag? Yeah. Let's go grab some of that. So we're just going to grab some zooplankton to put in there now. So making sure your light tubes are not too old is very important so the corals are getting the light they need. Making sure that you're putting plenty of vitamins and trace elements into the water is very important making sure the tank gets the right amount of water flow making sure that the corals are spaced out enough so they're not stinging each other another thing to look out for but these red sea tanks are really quite good because they are pretty purpose built just set up to be a reef tank and they really just work as a reef tank they really work straight off the bat colors that, that this, these lights dis display the corals too is really impressive. So now we've got some zooplankton. We're going to do the same thing. Well let's do that on this tank. So this is another a very, more established reef tank that we've got here at Majestic Aquariums. So a lot of these corals have grown quite substantially since we've put them in the tank. Go for some of the stonies, you react a bit more. Or the hammer? Oh, both. The hammer. You see the clams sucking some up. You just saw him contract in. This is one of those tanks that no matter how often you look at the tank, you still seem to see a new coral. So 
clams have contracted up. Beautiful tank. So spot feeding is very beneficial to a lot of these corals.